one look is just not enough to understand the complexity involved in the construction of this 20-road interchange that was built in China. Called the Huangzhuan flyover, this giant piece of infrastructure was partially opened to the public in 2017. At a quick glance, one can argue the futility of adding lanes to a road that will sooner or later get overwhelmed with the number of vehicles. Nearby is a city that is home to 8 million residents, so that won't be tough. So, let's get straight to the question on your mind. Why was the Huangzhuan flyover built? The region needed an interchange to connect the airport, the city, and an expressway. To get it done, the designers had to send cars through roads that span five levels, with the highest level being 12 stories tall. The interchange has 15 ramps, and the 20 lanes go in eight different directions. The total length of the roads at the interchange is estimated to be a little over 10 miles 16.4 kilometers. The construction of this interchange began in September 2009, with major construction being completed in 2017. Minor works and some ramps were completed later that year. When you look at something so magnanimous, there can only be two reactions, fear and sheer appreciation for the person or team that made it possible. When it was first thrown open to the public in 2017, the interchange became an internet sensation and drew some sharp responses from people. Social media was ablaze with comments like, you can visit, but you can never leave. With map apps realizing a bit too late that the driver hasn't taken the correct lane or exit on normal highways, one can only wonder what the global positioning system-based devices must be going through on a hellish track like this, especially given that the interchange actually has five levels. Photographer Fred Dufour saw beauty in the build and took pains to capture the construction from various angles, to capture the engineering marvel and share it with the rest of the world. Just in case you are wondering what happens if you do take the wrong exit, there is a turnaround option half a mile ahead.